Bass, uh, main session of the week. Uh, how'd the boys go out there today? Yeah, no, we trained fast um, and we had some fun. Um, yeah, probably a couple of guys got a bit sore than they needed to out there, but um, it wasn't too bad a session. Is it just about sort of getting the run, the legs, and you know the guys know what they've got to do at this time of the year? Is that what it's about? Yeah, it's a little bit of confidence. It's a little bit of um, you know working for what the opposition are going to give us or what we think they'll give us, um, and continue to reinforce uh, the positive behaviours we've shown all year. No, Jake Carlisle this week. You're in charge of the forward line. How do, how do you sort of see it shaping up this week? Got any ideas for me? <laughs> um, yeah, look, it'll be interesting. I mean, uh, the Kangaroos have a pretty good defence. They get a lot of their drive and run off half back, so. Um, certainly going to test us, um, so it'd be nice to have probably a couple of paddy riders, one in the ruck and one on bull or maybe one up forward as well, I'd, I'd be pretty happy with, but um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we end up doing. We saw Tommy Belchambers come back in the side last week, is that the importance of his role, being able to release Paddy and, and even him to go forward a bit? Yeah, well I mean we'd, we'd love Tommy to be moving at his best so we could be playing um, probably at a slightly higher standard in the forward line. Um, but I thought his ruck work was pretty good. He got better as the game wore on, his movement improved. What it allows though is Paddy Ryder to get forward and in the games that T-Bell's played this year, Paddy's normally gone forward and kicked us a couple of goals. He's um, you know, probably our best forward at the moment. Two important guys up there are Zach Merritt and Joey Danaher, both nominated for the Rising Star, which happens today obviously. It's been a great first season from both of them, or second for Joey at first for Zach. Yeah, I mean it, it has been terrific. Zach's played nearly every game. If you compare his stats to Louis Taylor, they're very similar. In fact, in some areas they're a little bit better. So um, Zach's had a, had a terrific year. Um, Joe Danner, Joe's, it's been great for him to play so much footy. You know, probably didn't think he was going to play this many games coming into the year, but with uh, T-Bell's injury, it certainly allowed him to, the opportunity to play more games. And he's showed little glimpses of some you know, high-end AFL footy. I thought his first half last week was excellent. Um, it's just about for Joe doing it uh, better for longer. From what you've looked at at North Melbourne this week in, in preparing for the game, how do you think we should have match up against them as it stands? Uh, look, they're, they're a, a very good side. Their form line's been very good the last month. Um, one of the best attacking sides in the competition and their defence has certainly been improving. So, um, you know, it's, it's a, a big test for our group. I mean, we're more focused on what we do and, uh, and how we can do it. Um, a bit like what we want from Joe Danaher, better for longer. You know, some of our footy's been excellent, um, but we're not doing it for long enough. So. Um, hopefully we can be less focused on the scoreboard and more focused on continuing to play good footy um, right throughout the game. Thanks for your time and good luck. Thank you.